My beloved child, I want you to know that blessings are on their way to you, and they will soon arrive, like gentle rain showering your home with grace. There is no love greater, no plan mightier than what I have in store for you. I can offer you a steadfast purpose, fill you with serenity, and transform your most challenging circumstances into something beautiful. I will lead you out of the desert and bring you to a refreshing spring. Embrace my blessing with faith, joy, and humility. Never underestimate it, for sometimes it may appear in simple ways. While others chase grand blessings, I choose the humble and seemingly small, for I see the potential for greatness within them. Open your eyes, my dear one, for wondrous things are about to unfold. Seek my word, and you will recognize the blessings that are approaching you. My gaze searches for a humble heart, and my spirit yearns to fill a life that is always ready to give, love, and forgive. Know this, I have chosen you and you should never doubt it. Your destiny has been written on an eternal scroll since the foundation of the world, and I have carefully traced your path with my loving finger. The time has come for you to understand what I have prepared for you. Come into my presence every day before my altar. Lay your questions and shortcomings before me and receive my forgiveness. Rise and prepare yourself, for the time is near and you have important tasks to fulfill. There are countless miracles in which I intend to use you. Let us embark on this journey together, for you have my unwavering support. Remember, I love you, and there are blessings in heaven with your name written on them. I understand that you may be questioning why certain things have happened in your life. Trust me with all your heart, for both in heaven and on earth, circumstances are aligning in your favor. I have issued an unbreakable command for you to receive abundant provision, freedom from debts, supernatural wisdom, and blessings specially crafted for you and your family. Your divine inheritance is not a matter of chance. I loved you even before your birth, and I have prepared countless beautiful things for you. But above all, Know that my eternal love is the most precious gift of all. I loved you when you felt distant, and I continued to love you when you returned to me. Your occasional mistakes do not frighten me. I will never reject you for your sins. You come to me with a sincere heart, filled with repentance and truth. I see your love for me, and I understand your heart and reasons. I cherish your sincerity, and no one can ever deceive me. Unlike others who put on a facade of perfection and holiness, coming into my presence to judge and accuse, you are different. Your spirit radiates peace, your attitude is kind, and your thoughts are pure. Even when you stumble, you rise with confidence and faith. Never let mortals point fingers at you. In this world, no one has that right. If you maintain this attitude of faith, approaching me every day with a humble heart, eager to hear and learn, I will reward your efforts with abundant blessings. I know your desires are not rooted in material things. You seek blessings and protection for your family. I will grant you that and so much more. I will prepare you to be ready, and when the doors open, do not be afraid to step through. Even as you listen now, Supernatural miracles are unfolding in the spiritual realm. New people will enter your life, opportunities like never before will arise, and situations that may initially seem like problems will transform into blessings through your faith and patience. They will bring peace to your home and provision. But remember, the most important and beautiful blessing is already yours, my eternal love. Declare your belief in me. It is here in my hands, the ultimate solution to all your problems. So come to me, my dear one. What are you waiting for? You know that I love you. You've always felt it deep within you. Even if you feel distant at times, 
even if doubt whispers that you have failed and that I do not love you. Know that it is not true. In your heart, a flame continues to burn and a fervent desire to return to this waiting and longing home residies within you. Do not be afraid. Come. I understand that you may feel confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had faith, but many disappointments came your way, especially from those you trusted. People went their own way and seemed to forget about you. You became disheartened because you thought I did not come when you called. But let me assure you, I am always on time. I never left your side. I watched over you, provided countless answers, and offered all the solutions you needed even if you didn't always believe me. I spoke to you with beautiful words, but you sometimes struggled to accept that your omnipotent God would speak directly to you. Please do not stray from this path. This is where you are truly loved. This is your home, your sanctuary, where you can feel protected and filled with peace, allowing you to rest at night with deep and rejuvenating dreams. Tonight, as you sleep, you will dream of standing beside a crystal clear river and with your eyes, you will look at me. I will extend my arms and you will walk barefoot on that miraculous water carrying away all your pains, anger, and frustrations. When you wake up in the morning, you will feel different, full of strength. You will realize that I have removed the heavy burden from your shoulders. You will feel great, and this is one of the rewards for those who believe again, who accept their mistakes and return to their faith. You do not need to search for someone who speaks beautiful things to you. I am here. My word is life, it is good. Receive it in your heart, and you will be filled with my Holy Spirit. I am your life and your blessing, the true solution your heart needs. Declare your belief in me with all your faith, for a great blessing is on the horizon. Can you feel it? Can you sense the peace? But I urge you to nourish your heart with my word and not allow doubts to erode your faith. Stand firm, I have the final word. I will heal you of all ailments, rise with courage, and all curses, debts, and painful memories from the past will fade away from your life. Your liberation is at hand. Today the chains are breaking. Joy and happiness are coming to you in abundance. I will work a powerful miracle of praise in you. Your mouth will be filled, and your heart will overflow with joy. What I have spoken will come to pass. I have promised it, and you will see it with your own eyes. You will receive everything you need, even to bless others and help those in need. Now with fervor, allow me to touch your body, your soul, your heart with my power, and heal all your pain, removing your discouragement. Open the doors of your soul to me and be filled with my peace. You have fought so hard, been steadfast, persevered, and remained persistent. You paid no heed to discouraging words and criticisms from people. The day has come for you to claim victory, to receive provision and prosperity. Entrust your plans to me, and I will assist you in everything. Delight in my presence, and I will grant the desires of your heart. Call out to me and I will answer you. I want to show you great and wonderful things. I challenge you to believe in me. My promises are written. You have heard many times that all is possible for those who can believe in me. I want to see your response. Tell me that you believe in me. But also, take action. Rise and make the decision to distance yourself from things and friends that lead you away from me. They will not come to your rescue in times of serious trouble. Possessions will not serve you if you lose your faith. Believe in my promises firmly and with unwavering determination. Seek me with your heart in the morning, during the day, in the evenings, and before you sleep. Place your requests before my presence, 
and trust that I will give you the good things that are meant for your growth and edification. Listen carefully. Something beautiful, great, powerful, and astonishing is about to happen in your life. I love you. Declare your belief. Do not despair if you are feeling down today, if you think you are not strong. I want you to listen to me. Open the doors of your heart. Accept this sweet peace I offer, and take this time to rest your mind. I am the creator of the universe, and I want to speak directly to your heart. Those turbulent winds that shake your life, I command them to be still. You need not fear the world's threats that seek to unsettle you, to make your faith waver, and to blind you to your achievements. You may feel weak at times, but let me assure you that in your weakness, you find your strength in me. Your faith, combined with my power, makes you invincible. Your renewed strength makes your spirit unbreakable, and your weakness is vanquished. You can boldly declare, I am strong, and with confidence, continue your journey to the peak where I await you. Here, your dreams will become reality. This is the moment for you to embrace my will and allow me to work in your life. You are meant to soar, not to retreat. Spread your wings and ascend higher, where I have blessings waiting for you. Despair will no longer be your companion, and sadness and discouragement will have no place in your life. From this day forward, you will live with a burning and active faith. Each morning, as the sun rises, choose happiness in every circumstance, and let no bad news or worries erase the beautiful smile that graces your face. Remember, my dear child, you are mine. My Holy Spirit dwells within you, making you different from the world. While others may tremble at rumors and falter in hope, you possess my supernatural love. Your faith is a wonder, and from your lips flow powerful prayers and words. So, go forth, my child. You're free. Be filled with joy and share the words I have given you with your family. I love you, and I will deliver you from despair, infusing your heart with courage. Face each day with bravery, for I am with you, and I will never let you fall. Do not fear, for I know your trials are difficult, but my strength is greater. Your enemies may rise against you, but I am more powerful. Sickness may seek to steal your hope, but I desire to heal you. Family problems may distress you, but I will work a marvelous miracle, and your situation will change. Now tell me, will you believe in me, or will you doubt? Choose to believe, and you will rise, persist, fight, fulfill your responsibilities, and persevere in faith. I know you have suffered and shed tears in silence due to your current situation, but today I am surrounding you with my love and wiping away your tears. Drink from my living water, and your body will be filled with health, your spirit renewed, and your soul will no longer thirst. The enemy may rise against you daily seeking to bring you down, but today you will stand tall. Sustained by my grace, the challenging days you've experienced are coming to an end. I love you, and my love will cast out all fear. Look to me, my child, for nothing is impossible for me. Just as I calmed storms, parted the sea, and empowered miracles, today I calm the storms within you and give you the strength to walk on the waves of doubt. You will not sink, for I extend my hand, and my mercy upholds you. I am sending my angels to watch over you, to strengthen you as you swim against the current. A heavenly army goes before you, assisting you in your battles. I have decreed great blessings for you, and your fears and enemies will not prevail, for my power surpasses all. Rejoice in my presence, and never forget, my child, that with me you are more than a conqueror. I want you to know that I heard your prayer last night as you cried out in your thoughts, seeking courage, 
strength, peace, and security to face life's challenges. Look at you now. You have awakened to a new day, strengthened and ready. Your spirit is no longer weak or discouraged. You possess the courage to face any giant that dares to challenge you. Where there was once fear, there is now faith. Where there was timidity, there is now boldness. Yesterday, your legs may have trembled with thoughts of the adversities that could befall you, but today, you stand firm and prepared to conquer. You must rise and move forward, for I have ignited in your spirit a fervent desire for success. Believe in my power, for I have not only guided your steps here, but also provided you with the strength to confront a thousand giants. Though the obstacles on your path may be daunting, remember that nothing surpasses my power. I have brought you to this point, and I have never left your side. In all your struggles, battles, and wars, I will stand with you. By my power and love, you are more than a conqueror. Every giant that rises against you is destined for defeat. I have bestowed upon you the determination and strength you need to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Your goal is to conquer every obstacle that arises, and you will live in abundance and perfect peace. In this moment, shift your focus away from worries and fix your eyes upon me. This is all part of a process. Feed your faith with my word and fill your mind with my promises and your fears will dissipate. With my presence in your heart, you can confront anyone and emerge victorious in every trial. Rise and move forward. Fight in the power of my Holy Spirit. And when you face battles, no one will prevail against you. You are not weak, you are strong. You possess my love and faith. Remember this. All things are possible for those who believe. I love you, so do not lose hope. For I am here to uphold you and provide you with the strength to endure. I am giving you every ounce of strength you need to continue, so you will not be crushed by the tribulations that come your way. You will feel the ability to rise, move forward, face challenges, and persevere in your faith. I know you have experienced triumph and victory before, so the situation you face today will not conquer you. You will not taste defeat or shame. Listen to my words and be filled with courage, for your fervent faith will witness supernatural miracles. My word has the power to heal your body, provide for your family, and meet all your needs. Your table will be filled with abundance, and joy will overflow in your home. True prosperity will grace your family. Accept my blessings with a humble heart, and in gratitude remember those who are struggling. Use your abundance to bless and help others. Seek to aid those less fortunate, and watch as I open the windows of heaven, filling your home with peace and joy. My true blessings manifest in the harmony and stability that come to your family, in the health and wisdom that usher in seasons of happiness and new life. Believe in me and acknowledge that a better future is possible for those who love me. Soon, you will witness the realization of many dreams you thought were unattainable. I, your omnipotent and supernatural God, am always with you. I will care for you, protect you, and sustain you, not only today, but for all eternity. I am accelerating the timing for you to receive your blessings and the answers you have been seeking. The changes occurring around you are for your ultimate good. Prepare your heart and mind, open the doors of your home, and let my presence take its rightful place. As you hear me now, know that your life is about to change. I understand your needs even before you express them but I desire your thoughts and desires to be clear. Be certain of what you ask of me. Know your wants and your destination. If you seek victory, it comes at a price. True faith, fervent prayer, 
hard work and personal sacrifice. I will grant you success that becomes an eternal blessing for your family and for you. I will not give you anything that brings sadness or separates you from me. I do not want your family to suffer due to your absence. I desire your success in the world and your shining light in the streets, but when you return home, darkness should not follow you. Forget not those you love, do not burden your life with strife, and do not sacrifice your health. I always seek what is best for you, true peace, unwavering faith, a life of tranquility, and freedom from worldly concerns. Earthly possessions are fleeting. You brought nothing into this world, and you will take nothing with you. But the love and affection you sow in those who love you, the faith you share, the help you extend to those in need, your unshakable faith and loyalty, these are the treasures that will bring you a true spiritual reward. I will personally tell you, come, beloved daughter, beloved son, you were faithful in the small things. A great blessing I have prepared for you. And one day, I will place a crown upon your head with my own hands. I have the power to change times and seasons, to transform hearts, and to set everything in its place so that you may enjoy my blessings and leave your sorrows behind. I'm at your doorstep, calling out to you. Open up. I wish to dwell in your home, and I desire your entire family to be filled with my wondrous peace. Everything unjustly taken from you will be returned, multiplied. Stand firm and do not accept defeat. Life may have struck you, people may have betrayed you, and they may wish to see you fall. But I, your almighty God, am with you, and I will not forsake you. By my grace, my love, and the strength I have placed within your heart, you will rise. You will stand tall like a courageous warrior. Those who seek to trouble you, to humiliate you, and to defeat you, will be astounded when they witness all that I will accomplish through you. With their eyes wide open, they will see as I lead you out of the desert into fertile land where miracles flourish. You have faced countless trials, but the day of your prosperity has arrived. I will heal your ailments, deliver you from captivity, and grant you glorious freedom. Hold on to hope as if it were a precious treasure. Remain rooted in my word, for it is the most valuable possession. Do not be swayed by the empty murmurs of those who envy you when they see how I surround you with blessings. I will provide you with honorable work, food on your table, abundant health, protection from evil, faithful friendships, and harmony within your family. You will have marvelous dreams and profound desires to live, persevere, and triumph. Always remember this, your age is of no consequence. Never underestimate yourself. Do not use the number of your years as an excuse. I will work great wonders in you because I love you and nothing can thwart my plans. You have my unwavering support, my love and my faithfulness. I desire your heart and your loyalty. Prepare for a new supernatural life. I love you for all eternity. I want you to know that there's no need for you to worry anymore. Please don't be discouraged or troubled by anything that burdens your heart. I hear all your prayers, every single one of them. And I am here, always ready to guide you through even the most challenging moments of your life. Imagine that from my throne, a mighty river flows, a river that carries away all your troubles, leaving your soul cleansed, calm, and filled with peace. I long for you to be filled with faith, hope, and tranquility, to be released from the relentless storms of thoughts that batter the walls of your mind. Allow me to enter the corners where painful memories hide, where sadness and pain dwell. I am your Lord, your Savior, and I have forgiven your faults. There's no need for you to torment yourself with doubts and self-accusations. If you truly love me and believe in me, 
Stop thinking that there's no solution to your problems. I don't want you to live in tension and anguish. It's not my desire for you to spend your days with your head down, lacking the faith to raise your gaze to the heavens. I want you to be free from all worries, starting today. Yes, I know that you live in a world filled with pain, but you were chosen for these times. You were born in the right place, and no matter how difficult your life has been, it's all part of my divine plan. It's for this very day that your faith will ignite, and because of what you've endured, you'll have the humility to receive the incredible wisdom and blessings that I'm about to pour upon you. Your financial problems will fade when you let go of your attachment to material possessions. Your family is more precious, as is your health and your future. Also, remember to love yourself just as I love you, with patience and affection. Don't demand perfection from yourself. It only places obstacles in your path, leading to confusion. Everyone makes mistakes, but you have me. And I see how it pains you when you go astray from my word, when your emotions lead you into actions you'd rather not take. But there is forgiveness and grace for your repentant heart with each new day. There's a new opportunity and fresh mercies that I personally deliver to you each morning. I will come to you, tap on your window and awaken you. I will bathe your face in a gentle ray of holy white light, revealing the boundless love I have for you. It's time for you to truly believe in me and cling to me. You have a destiny to fulfill, a purpose to achieve, dreams to chase and a family to support. I only ask for your respect and loyalty. Your heart already belongs to me, but I need you to take your path to freedom seriously. I didn't give you life for you to waste it, to be tossed about by the winds that crash against violent waves. Don't blindly trust false friends who lift you up, only to let you down when you need them most. They come and mock the trials you face, always blaming you for everything and you start to believe them. That's when your faith dims once again. Don't fear loneliness. Hold tight to my love, my affection. Offer me your innocent faith, just like that of a child. And believe me when I tell you that I genuinely love you. Trust in me, and you will never be alone. You will find victory in the face of your challenges. I will provide everything you need. In times of discouragement, I will grant you health, strength, and the perseverance to keep going without faltering. Let yourself be loved. Do not be afraid. Let those who are insincere depart from your life, and don't beg anyone to stay. I will be your companion on those cold evenings when you need words of encouragement, a helping hand, and a listening ear, free from judgment. I will give you what you need when you come to me on your knees with a sincere heart. Do it not because I ask, but because you love me. Show your commitment and loyalty in this way. I'm not impressed by outward displays of piety. I don't listen to those who pretend to love me publicly, but gather in secret to harm my anointed ones and my beloved. I will reward your loyalty your faith, your commitment, and I will answer your prayers when you approach me with the utmost sincerity in your heart. You already know how much I love you. I need not say more. From this day forward, your fears are behind you. I strengthen your convictions, and you will no longer live in fear. Hand in hand, we will walk towards victory with a tranquil heart. Your soul embraced by my affection and immersed in my peace. So it was, so it is, and so it shall be. Don't be alarmed. Blessings are coming your way. The time when you will reclaim many lost things is approaching. You will witness that nothing is impossible for me. A great miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. What I want to give you is far better than anything you could ask for. 
Your destiny is in my hands and no one else's. Don't look around and don't let negative forces plant thoughts of failure and foolishness in your mind. I am with you. I cherish it when you talk to me, when you address me, when you trust me enough to confide in me your feelings. I heard you this morning. I heard you yesterday. And though your words may be few, your sincerity and intention are what truly matter. I need nothing more, and I've told you before, that even if your faith were as small as a mustard seed, it would be enough for your prayers to reach the throne of heaven. That's where your destiny is decided, and from there, I send you comfort. From there, I reveal my love to you. I know what you need. I love it when you talk to me, when you turn to me in prayer. Your sincerity and devotion are precious to me. I heard you this morning. I heard you yesterday. And though your words may be few, your sincerity and intention are what truly matter. I need nothing more. And I've told you before that even if your faith were as small as a mustard seed, it would be enough for your prayers to reach the throne of heaven. That's where your destiny is decided. And from there, I send you comfort. From there, I reveal my love to you. I know what you need. I have no doubt that I love you, and I know that you believe it too. Be strong and courageous, and face all your struggles without fear of anyone or anything. Don't tremble at any threat, and don't lose your peace due to the pessimism that some people bring. Those who doubt my promises circle endlessly, searching for happiness but you've had the courage to disregard the opinions of negative people, and despite the ridicule, you've clung to your faith in me. Therefore, I promise you that I will never leave you. I will never abandon you. I will defend you against your enemies day and night. I will watch over you. Your emotional well-being is of great importance to me. I want your mind to be nourished by my holy word, and I want all your plans and dreams to align with my will. Don't rush into decisions because of others' pressure. Don't make hasty choices to please them. Have patience and come to me in prayer. I will show you the right path that leads to success. Dismiss thoughts of failure. You know that I love you and you are in my hands because of the love I have for you. You will triumph in all things. I want you to feel loved and protected so you can face your problems and enemies with courage and without fear. Seek my word for the many promises that will guide your steps and light your path. You don't have to walk blindly. I am sending you to succeed and I envelop you with my love. I equip you with the courage and ability to accomplish great things, to grow in wisdom, to overcome obstacles, to defeat armies and to conquer giants. Tell me what more you need. I am listening. I want my will to be fulfilled in your life and my power to manifest in a way that's evident to those around you. You will be the instrument through which I bring blessings to humanity. Start with your family. Inspire them to seek me more. Pray for them and I will touch them with my power, healing their illnesses erasing poverty, wiping away their sorrows, ending hatred and disputes, and restoring forgiveness and harmony. Peace will reign in your home, so be courageous and do not fear. Share with them my grace and faithfulness. Let them recognize that their blessings don't come from luck or chance. Help them understand that I am the one who blesses and sustains them. Encourage them to acknowledge me in all their ways and to place me first in their hearts, if they want, transformation. My blessing is with you, and it is also with your family. I desire your home to be illuminated with my light at night, becoming a refugee for those in need of me. Everyone who enters your door will leave their illnesses behind. They will feel my presence in their hearts, and miracles will occur in your home. I have a profound purpose for you and for all you love. 
that purpose will be fulfilled, even if you don't see or understand it right now. Many may have high expectations of you, but my perspective is different. My intentions are perfect, and I will bless you in such a way that you will receive blessings more beautiful and powerful than you or anyone else can anticipate. That's why I ask you to pray without ceasing. Seek my word, align with my will. Listen to my voice in the early morning hours. I want to provide you with the map and instructions so you don't walk in darkness. I want you to go out and triumph every day, not following the path that others take, succumbing to the defeats and discouragements that this world offers them. I have come to bring you abundant life. If you hold on to my hand and believe in my word, my blessings will overtake you. At times, problems may seem to pile up, so I ask you to give me just a moment. Close your eyes and listen to me. I place my right hand on your head, cleansing your soul of all worries. A river of living water flows from my throne, washing away all fear. Enemies may surround you, but I give you peace. I hold your destiny in my hands. The situation you face today is not your end. Remember my words. They bring healing to your body and encouragement to your mind. You will rise from that bed of despair and feel transformed. My Holy Spirit embraces and lifts you up so that no harm will befall you. Your enemies know that I have placed my anointing on you, a supernatural blessing, and with it, you will conquer the world. I am renewing your purpose and vision starting today. You will see the affairs of this life differently. You will not be a person without motivation and hope. Anxiety will not overwhelm you when things get complicated. I am giving you the wisdom to fight so that no emotion of defeat will ever dominate you again. I am with you. You are greatly blessed. Use the beautiful gifts I've given you for good and treat those around you kindly. Value those who have helped place you where you are now. Recognize that you haven't achieved everything solely through your intelligence. Many people have extended a helping hand to you. They've opened doors and offered opportunities. I myself have protected you from hidden dangers, thieves and diseases. So, my beloved child, I want you to know how deeply I care for you. I long to see you thrive and embrace the life I've prepared for you. Your faith and trust in me have touched my heart, and I will be with you every step of the way. I have watched you come this far, guiding your steps and placing people in your life to share blessings. If you wish to multiply the gifts, talents, and possessions I've given you, seek out those who have supported you, even those you've never seen. Act selflessly, expecting nothing in return, for this is the path to abundance. Many have blessed you already, and now it's your turn to show gratitude and become an instrument of my love. You understand my heart, and I know you can do it. Go now. Assist those who occupy your thoughts, and witness how I will prosper you with every act of gratitude. I will multiply your gifts, open the windows of heaven, and pour blessings upon you. This beautiful attitude of recognizing others will bring not only abundance, but also emotional and financial freedom. I'll break the chains of debt, provide employment, and create opportunities for you to start ventures. You'll become a beacon of wisdom, guiding others to your source of prosperity. In times of trials, remember the tools I've given you, my word, your faith, your prayer, and your grateful heart. Take them to heart, and you'll live victoriously, even in a troubled world. Honey and blessings will flow around you, and harm will not touch you. You'll see the wicked face their consequences, while your family and loved ones will be greatly blessed. I'll remove thoughts of misery and laziness from their minds, instilling a renewed desire to grow, study, and bring prosperity to humanity through their professions. 
Those who love and obey me are like trees planted by flowing waters, bearing fruit in due season, and their leaves never wither. This has always been true, even in challenging times. Do not conform to the world's negativity. While others predict defeat and calamity, I'll strengthen you to succeed amidst life's storms. You'll stand firm and your countenance will shine. Today, I lift you up to carry the banner of victory. Those who oppose you will be ashamed and you'll have tranquility even in the face of struggles, fear, and anxiety. You'll have peace, for my hand is upon you. I'll take away your worries and you'll feel divine serenity. Breathe deeply and savor this newfound spirit. You may encounter tough days, but never a day without my love. Challenges may arise, but you won't face them alone. You'll always be sheltered by my love and protection. Right now, as you listen, close your eyes and receive these words. Dare to ask for what you need. Provision, healing, encouragement and wisdom for your purpose. Pray for your family and loved ones. Tough times come and go, but my presence remains. I'm not far away, and you don't have to shout for my attention. I hear you when you cry, and I am by your side. I hear your prayers and will never ignore you. You've left behind hatred and resentment, understanding the power of gratitude. Your prayers are powerful, beautiful to me. I send you answers with affection. Receive them with patience, accept them with faith, and await them with gratitude for the blessings that will soon be in your hands. I'm working in the hearts of those you love. Show them how important they are to you and how loyal you are to me. This will impact their lives. You are a beacon in the darkness, guiding them back home. I am here, protecting everyone, even those who may not believe in me. You love them, and that's enough for me. I'll bless and protect them, and they'll eventually realize it's my love that keeps them alive. One day, they'll appreciate your sleepless nights of prayer your tears for their salvation. Storms may come, but those who seek me will find hope and faith in abundance. Others may embrace failure and confusion, unable to distinguish good from bad. But you will stand strong in the midst of the raging sea, guided by my hand. Fear not when problems arise, nor despair when provisions run thin. Face these conflicts with courage holding my hand and remembering the truth you've embraced. If you truly believe in me, lift your head high and dive into the battle without hesitation. I fill you with courage and confidence, leading you to a land of abundance. Keep your gaze fixed on my word, ignoring empty threats. Acknowledge me today. Say it aloud. I believe in you, my beloved God. Confess that I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. Even when the earth trembles, you will rest beside still waters, on green pastures. I anoint your soul with heavenly honey, leading you along righteous paths. You will not lack, because I love you, and I'll always be with you. You know this, and you possess powerful, unshakable faith. It will lift you on your worst days in the midst of the harshest struggles. Your trust in me makes your enemies falter. I'll bless your table with peace and provision. My commandments and guidance will strengthen you, and your face will shiny with heavenly anointing. Goodness and mercy will follow you. My word will speak to your heart, and you'll dwell in my presence every day. It's not difficult to believe. It requires humility and simplicity. Recognize your limitations and I'll make you stronger. When you can't go on, I'll carry you in my arms until you reach your goal. When worries consume you, I'll bring peace to your mind and calm to your heart. Enemies may surround you, but you'll never be alone. 
I'll always embrace you with love and be your shield. I'll raise my sword to defend you against the world, giving you rest. You can walk confidently with a smile reflecting peace. People will see your shining face and you'll tell them, my almighty God, my heavenly Father loves me, protects me and cares for me. Your faith will grow stronger and your enemies will scream in confusion. I'll bless your table with peace and provision. My commandments and guidance will give you strength and your face will shine with heavenly anointing. Goodness and mercy will guide you. I'm opening your spiritual eyes, leading you into a new supernatural life away from the house of pain. I have marvelous miracles reserved for you, even if you haven't asked. I'll surround you with blessings because of my unconditional eternal love. If you've given me your heart today, committed to following me with perseverance and loyalty, no one can snatch you from my hand. Beware of distractions and doubts. The enemy seeks to trap your mind, but no one can touch you or your family. The enemy attacks to crush your faith and emotional stability. The wicked and envious can't stand to see your strength, but they are defeated. Your unshaken spirit radiates calmness, self-control, and supernatural power, the gifts of my Holy Spirit. Fear does not reside in your heart, and you stand firm in the face of sudden trials. You remain calm, remembering these words. Come, listen to me, and allow my embrace to fill you with affection and peace. I grant you grace and blessings, eager to see you triumph and prosper with eternal life in the heavenly kingdom. This is your inheritance. Live on earth with enthusiasm, purpose, and a vision to do good, spreading my word to the ends of the universe. I will work miracles through your hands, bringing comfort and encouragement to seeking souls, providing spiritual nourishment to those in need. Walk confidently, shunning the control of negative people. Seek the company of those who value and uplift you. Sincere friends who don't seek to control your life or family. Do not let the enemy enslave you again or accept words of defeat. Seek friendships with those who respect you genuinely. Bless those who encourage you without seeking your money in exchange. Our connection is personal and I want to talk to you directly. I'll reveal mysteries and share my plans with you. If you seek to know me more, I am here, waiting for you in the morning. Spend time with me while others sleep. Bring me your requests and listen attentively to the words I give you daily. I'll respond to you in many ways, revealing myself. Call upon me and I'll answer, showing you great and marvelous things through dreams and visions. I'm raising you to witness supernatural miracles Embrace these words with faith, and I'll surround you with abundant blessings. I have such incredible plans for you, plans that will fill your heart with peace and joy. I reach out to you, inviting you to walk this journey with me. It's not about rushing ahead, it's about standing strong and persistent in your path. Hold on to your faith, dear one. Let it remain serene and strong. Don't let the world around you distract you. Keep your focus on me and look ahead. Your destination isn't too far away, not an eternity away. I understand that sometimes your days may feel long, weariness may creep in, but remember, you've grown. You no longer let your emotions control your life. You know I desire to bless your family and pave their way, so they can face whatever comes without fear. Your enemies will be defeated and obstacles will be overcome. I don't promise an easy life, but I assure you that faith and strength will never leave your side. Fill yourself with courage, knowing that your victory is certain. Embrace my promises, which bring healing to your body, clarity to your thoughts and strength to your heart. I want to break the chains of discouragement and depression that weigh on you and make you doubt my words. 
Release that deceptive friendship that leads you towards failure. All these burdens will fade away. A powerful miracle awaits if you commit to obeying me and holding on to my love. Don't be like those who crawl in the dirt, chasing false promises of material wealth and fleeting fame. They believe that my presence and power favor those who loudly proclaim their lives, but that's a deceitful lie. They reject my word. They don't accept me for who I am. They don't want to know the one who came into the world as a servant and gave his life on a cross. But you, my child, have opened your heart to me and I desire to do marvelous things within you. Clothe your soul in humility and reject the offerings of the devourer. I'm here to assist you, to grant you more peace and wisdom so that waiting doesn't wear you down so that complaints and doubts don't erode your faith and happiness. Speak to me now with all your heart and say, My God, I believe in you. I trust you. And with patience I await my blessing. I promise you what you've asked for will come to pass. You've always believed in me, knowing that all your prayers in the name of Jesus will be answered. I want to announce to you new times, abundant blessings, open heavens and overflowing blessings that will fill every corner of your life and your home. You and your family will overflow with peace and happiness. All of this is possible for those who believe in me, who keep my word in their hearts and patiently await the blessing without faltering. Remember, my child, you must remain steadfast and patient. Life takes time to be born just like the nine months it takes for a child to come into the world. A seed must fall on fertile ground, be broken and transformed before it can sprout and grow. Your blessings are valuable and powerful, but they require time and effort to fall into place for your good. I know you understand this, and I trust that you won't be discouraged. Keep your gaze on the horizon as you take each step forward leaving behind your current circumstances. Don't fear change. Everything is designed for your good. I want you to be surrounded by people and resources that help you grow. If you walk with me, no one can defeat you, accuse you, or judge you, for I will be your defender. Oh, my child, if only you could see with your spiritual eyes the heavenly armies that stand beside you. If you could witness my divine light illuminating your path and how your enemies fall. If you could perceive the movements of heaven and earth in your favor. Soon I will reveal grand visions to you in your dreams, offering you a taste of heaven on earth. I can move the entire universe to bring you blessings, as I see your sincere and unwavering faith in me. Your faith is brave. And that's why I respond to you daily with a different message. Each day may bring new challenges, but my love for you will never change. Before you continue with your daily tasks, know this, my child, I love you deeply. But I long to hear those words from your own lips, to hear you say, Jesus, beloved, I love you too. There is nothing you can ask of me that my love cannot provide. I will restore what belongs to you, your dignity, and the place you rightfully deserve. I have a better life in store for you if you give me your heart and accept the healing and forgiveness that my sweet love offers. The promises are already written. You carry them in your heart. So, if you choose to believe, do so with the full strength of your mind and soul. Don't be like those who speak of my love, but don't truly believe it. They are too preoccupied with the judgments of others and submit to the punishments and scorn imposed upon them. Many want to impose their selfish thinking upon you. They claim to love you, but seek to take from you. They follow impossible rules that they themselves don't follow. They wear robes of righteousness and false holiness, considering themselves superior to you no matter what you do. In their eyes, you always end up as the one at fault, the guilty one. I call you to total freedom. 
Tonight, you will sleep in peace, and my Holy Spirit will speak to you. I will heal your soul and mind, breaking all the chains that have bound you. And when you awaken in the morning, you will be free forever. Your happiness will no longer depend on people's opinions. At last, you will be who you truly are, a wise, intelligent child of mine, with a gentle, perseverant, and courageous spirit. You will be filled with vibrant, powerful, and unwavering faith. Lean on me in your darkest moments, when people offend you and hurt your feelings, when everything around you seems to darken and you feel like there's no reason to go on. You are mine, and I want you to aspire to greater things. Don't settle for living in a corner, crying beneath that roof where you only endure contempt. But I love you. I will help you, forgive you, and restore you. I can offer you a better future, with powerful gifts and talents, peace, joy, and health. Take your rightful place, stand tall with dignity. You are a protected prince or princess, eternally guarded by your mighty Heavenly Father. Speak it from your heart, my child. Tell me, I believe in you, beloved Father. I hold a miracle with your name in my hands, a matter that you and I both know will be resolved. Even your own family will be astonished. Those who secretly looked down upon you and openly criticized you will kneel before you, seeking forgiveness for the pain they caused you. They did not respect you. They missed the opportunity they were seeking when they rejected you. I will lead you to a better environment. I will elevate you spiritually to a place where there is no strife or envy. True love still exists there. They will appreciate the gifts and talents I have bestowed upon you, enabling you to grow and prosper. Do not fear prosperity. I speak of provision, peace, happiness, health, and family harmony, without debts, without sorrows. From where I am, I see your miracle, and it is so magnificent and beautiful that when you witness it, you will recognize that it was worth it. All the suffering you endured, your family will understand that you were not wrong when you told them to trust in the God who loves them so deeply. They will repent with tears for having sinned against me when you prayed for wisdom and strength, and they scoffed at you, thinking you were mistaken. But when they witness my powerful response to your prayers, they will ask you for forgiveness. I have chosen you for something special, to be a true blessing to your family and your nation, not to seek riches and popularity, like those who waste their time seeking the approval of others and are willing to do anything for applause and praise. You are on a different path. Do not stoop to eat the crumbs they offer you. Look up to my throne. That is where you belong, with your perseverance and faith. You will reach it, and you will witness all the promises I have made to you coming true. I will work miracles through you, but do not expect people to change. If they offer you money and applause, be content with my love, which is always by your side, and the peace I provide. Your miracle is held within my hands. So, my child, tell me, do you want it? Yes or no? You have been tested, and now it is time for you to be blessed. You have suffered enough and have learned valuable lessons from all you have experienced. You were brave. You faced unexpected hardships. It was not due to your mistakes, but rather the enemy's attempt to shake you like the wind shakes the wheat. In your desperation, you released your seeds, which fell upon the ground, moistened by your tears. But, have faith and open your eyes, for the earth trembles and a vibrant sprout emerges. You can already see it. Let this be etched in your heart. This year, you will reap a great harvest. The seeds you thought were dead have come back to life and will return to you as blessings, beautiful and true, enriching your spiritual life. They will not bring sadness with them, 
They will not carry burdens of tension and problems. I have placed you in this position. My child, I love you beyond measure. Your unwavering faith touches my heart deeply. As you face each day, remember that I am with you and my love for you remains steadfast and unwavering. In a place where your spirit can soar, understand that I am your guide and your provider. If you treat others with kindness and compassion, your needs will be met. But remember, do not put your complete trust in mere mortals. Follow my commandments, cast aside doubt and pessimism, and rise with unwavering faith. With faith, miracles beyond your imagination can unfold before your very eyes. This is not a game, nor luck, nor empty words. It's the power of my holy word, always fulfilled in perfect timing according to my divine plan. You yearn for change, for prosperity, for your loved ones to lack nothing. You long for a transformation with all your heart, and I am here to tell you that I can and will transform you. I possess the ability to change hearts and minds, from darkness to light, and I will do so, but I need your faith. You are embarking on a new journey, and it's time to leave the past behind. Reach forward with your hand in faith, Grasp the blessings I place before you. Your trials have prepared you. Your moment has arrived. Today, I will perform beautiful miracles in your life and in the lives of your loved ones. Do not despair over the door that is closed. Speak to me, affirm your thoughts, and write it down. Now declare your belief in me, receive these words of comfort, and accept the heavenly encouragement I offer. When one door closes, it is not cause for despair. Another grand door will soon swing open, ushering in something even better. Know that there is a spiritual battle in the celestial realm for your life and your faith. Many adversaries seek to hinder your growth, both from the outside and within, even if they remain hidden from your sight. I will place divine knowledge in your path to guide you. Embrace this guidance with humility and dedicate time to prayer, and more will be revealed to you. You will emerge victorious from this battle. Every obstacle in your path will crumble. Understand that victories are not won by your efforts alone. If you reject my word and forsake your faith, the enemy will seek to sow discord within you. You will journey far, bless many lives, and your family will flourish in wisdom and humility of heart. Prosperity will grace every aspect of their lives, but we must walk this path together. Extend your hand to me. You are prepared to ascend to the spiritual heights where destinies are shaped and lives are transformed. There are countless good and beautiful things awaiting you this very day. While you listen to my words, the foundation for your life is being laid upon solid ground, ensuring that future generations will know me and serve me. Each one among them will be endowed with unique gifts, talents, and a desire to pursue knowledge and preparation beyond your current imagination. Your family is not destined to dwell in spiritual poverty, emotional confusion, or be burdened by debt. Embrace what I am revealing to you learn to dream. I will strengthen your faith and empower you to receive and manage the blessings that are about to pour forth with unwavering confidence. I will exchange your affliction for blessing, your sorrow for strength, and I will heal your heart with my boundless love. Even amidst your busyness and amidst the crowds, I want you to feel this tender embrace where you stand. Take a moment and receive this gift through faith. It will bring calm to your soul and peace to your mind. I grant you the power to control the turbulent emotions within your mind. The news you receive may alarm you and wear you down, making you feel as though you've lost your strength. But believe in me once more, for I am here and nothing is amiss. Your life continues, and this too shall pass. Your future is sealed with divine anointing. 
Your blessings will not be extinguished by any adversary seeking to discourage you with adversity. I can transform all opposition into blessings, turn scarcity into abundance, and heal every ailment within your family and your entire household. I possess the power, and my eternal desire is for you to receive all the wonders I have promised. I am not a man, I am God, and I do not lie. My purpose remains unchanged since the dawn of time, to save you, grant you eternal life, and guide you on the path of righteousness. I am the way, the truth, your life, your solution. So, I lovingly implore you to cling to my promises, to turn your gaze away from the deceptions of this world. I am delighted to see that you trust me, that you no longer heed the provocations and threats aimed at unsettling your peace, filling your mind with anger, confusion, false notions, and conflicting emotions. They seek to lead you astray, to ensnare you in the web of guilt and divert you from the truth, my love, and my presence. You understand their intentions, and I know that you love me. You will not allow anyone to wrench you away from the place where you now reside, surrounded by affection and an unparalleled love in your life. You have endured much loneliness and a dearth of tenderness, but now I embrace you providing solace with divine strength and encouragement, for I cherish you deeply. I witnessed your fears, your profound worries, and I heard the cries of your heart. You sought to escape from the problem, begging for my mighty hand to intervene urgently. I understand you completely. This matter is of utmost importance to you, and much depends on its resolution. You believed that I was angry and unwilling to assist you. Allow me to make this clear. You will always need me, even when things are going well, even when prosperity surrounds you. Never forget this. Never lower your guard, for the adversary seeks to distract you, to undermine your faith, to disrupt your plans and to wound your soul. I will aid you in this matter, that weighs heavily on your heart today. It pains me to see you sad and troubled. It is not my desire for you to be tormented, and I do not wish for you to feel this way. Instead of dwelling on the same worries repeatedly, surrender every thought to me. If thoughts of defeat creep in, believe that it is impossible. You will not be defeated, for you have faith in the Almighty God. If discouragement attempts to take hold of your heart, do not yield to it, for it would be a grave mistake. Those who have faith in my power and await my blessings cannot be discouraged. If the will to live slips from your grasp, utilize your faith. You believe in and serve a powerful and sovereign God who will ignite the flames of divine love within your heart, filling you with a marvelous desire to persevere. Hold fast to the promises I am extending to you. Grasp these words that I am speaking to you. Your adversaries may belittle you, proclaiming that you are unworthy even of life itself. But you must no longer listen to their voices. I desire for you to live, and soon you will taste, feel, and receive my blessings anew. Your circumstances will change. Your life will improve and the matters that concern you so deeply will be resolved in due time. If you have listened to me up to this point, know that it is not a mere coincidence. Declare your belief in me, your commitment to persevere despite all odds, and your unwavering love for me. Your future will transform, your current situation will improve. I will intervene supernaturally in your life, and soon, you will witness the clear resolution of your present difficulty with your own eyes. Proclaim your faith and dedication now, and tell me, I believe, just as I tell you, I love you. Amen.